So from here, what we're going to aim to do is going to be bending down, again, keeping it nice and flat, but we're going to try and get through different directions. So just like a clock, we're going to go through our different times. So again, as we keep it up straight, we want to make sure we're going through those same cues. So it's going to be really tough not to bend our back. So this is going to simulate in everyday life, you go to pick something up off the ground. What we're trying to avoid is rounding our back, using our weak muscles, we go to pick it up, it's heavier than we think. We pull up and then we pull the muscle in our back. So all the strong muscles that we're going to use are all surrounding the hip. So we're going to go up on one leg. From there, keeping that same midline stabilization. So we're turning on our glutes, pulling our rib cage down, tucking in our pelvis, our belly button to our spine. Shoulders are relaxed, externally rotated, tucked in. And from there, just going to go practice bending straight forward. Same thing. So if you can only get a couple degrees down, that's fine. As soon as you feel that rounded back, you're coming straight up to the top. So for now, just practice going slightly forward. Again, watching our balance. You'll notice it's a lot tougher to balance when you're turning on all those muscles. Trying to keep that spine straight up. Good, so once you have that, you're gonna practice reaching down in front of you. But again, the key here is to keep that back up straight. So as we're leaning down, we don't want that twist to go down deeper, right? Anybody can do the twist to get deeper. We're trying to still lengthen out the muscles in our posterior chain. So look forward. So as we come down, we see a lot of this. What's happening? Right away, my hips are turning. That's kind of what's giving me that extra depth. So again, we're gonna start back at our front position. Wherever my toes go, my knees go, my hips go, my shoulders go, my eyes go. So from there, try and keep this arm on the same side of the leg that you're standing on. So it's going to be difficult. So if you're crossing over your leg, chances are you're getting that rotation in your spine. So again, keeping it right out to the side. Back is up straight, no rotation in the spine, just a hinge at the hips. Yeah, so keep going. Good, so we're trying to hinge at the hips. We don't want any movement in the upper back. Good, now switch sides. The same thing. First up, just try to get that bend with empty arms. As you get more comfortable, you can get that arm out. So same arm, same leg. Again, looking for our cue. If our arm is passing over our leg, chances are we're rotating in the back or rotating in the hip. Good, and if you're really having trouble with that movement, you can just stay down there on that one leg and just pause. And you'll notice the muscles that are weak are gonna start to get tired. Switching back to our first leg and I had a little bit more difficulty. So this time we're going to go in three directions. So just like our clock, we're going to go out to the side, coming right back up, right to the middle, and we're going to lean out to the side. But again, notice as I lean to each side, I'm not going to be rotating at the hip, it's just the arm that's changing. So this is where it adds a little bit of difficulty. We're really trying to keep that straight posture. So as our arm goes over to each side, we're gonna want a tendency to turn with our hips. So that's very important that we keep our glutes turned on. That's going, what's gonna help keep our pelvis tilted. And again, tucking in our abs, it's what's gonna keep that pelvis in line. So again, from the top, gonna go over to about two o'clock, coming right back up to the start, down to our 12 o'clock, right back up to the start, and then crossing over, making sure our shoulders stay straight, hips are straight, into about our 10, 11 o'clock, and then back up to the start. And then same thing, repeating that three times. So out to two, coming back up, 12, coming back up, and to 10, coming back up. Good. 
So we still want that external rotation in the shoulders. Again, it's very tough as we lean forward. We're gonna wanna drop that shoulder into it. We don't want that back rotating. Once you're done one side, switch your legs. 